Broken Kirby fan and wondering how to replace it, then this is the video for you. Now don't forget everything you use in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get those Kirby products, make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Hi Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. A lot of people want to change that Kirby fan because it's broke, but they don't want to take the motor out of the Kirby. Now there are two ways of doing it, I will put an all card above to one I prefer, and then today I'll show you a quicker and easier way to change that Kirby fan. So let's dive straight into it. Before you start to take your Kirby apart, there's a few tools you're going to need. You're going to need a craft knife, a Torx 20, a Torx 15, a slotted screwdriver, and a 9mm spanner with a ground down end. So if you're doing this on a G3 or a G4, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. Anything onwards, then you're going to need the tools I showed you. If you've got the Avalia, your lead will be attached here, and you're going to need a Torx 15 to remove that. The G7 back to the G3, the wire is attached here. And that's a Torx 15. Next up we've got a Torx 20. Next we're going to remove the cover plate, so slot our slotted screwdriver in here. Lift up and tip. Now we've got two Torx 20s at the rear, so we're just going to remove those. Round to the front of the Kirby, going to lift the hood. You've got one, two, three, four, five screws to remove. So first up, we're gonna remove these two screws here. Lift off the top of the Kirby. Now we're gonna to have to remove this to get to the bolt, so we don't have to strip it all down. So for this, it will be a Torx 25 or a Phillips. And then remove the second screw. Lift that off. With that removed, we can get to the back of the motor and our spanner's gonna slide straight in there. If your spanner doesn't fit, this is the reason I've ground it down so it'll fit in that gap there. Back round to the front of the Kirby, we're gonna remove one, two, three, four screws. And then finally, our fist screw. Next up, we're gonna break the silicon seal so we're going to have to put our screwdriver in here and just leave it that. So now we can get to the fan. Now we've slotted our 9mm spanner in, that will stop the motor turning while we remove our fan. We're going to slot a very small screwdriver in there and we're going to turn this clockwise. Remove our fan. Hold the spanner at the back, give that a twist. Wiggle, 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 and off that comes. Now we'll give this a bit of a clean. Any silicon that you've got here, you're gonna to have to clean off and remove, and then you're gonna to have to reseal around here. This is the reason I don't like going in this way. The only advantage is going in this way, you can clean all in here if it's a really old Kirby. But if it's a pretty new Kirby, there's no real point taking this off. That's why I prefer to not break the seal and just remove the whole motor at the back. That way you haven't got to reseal all around here. So in your fan kit, you should get a spindle, fan, plastic washer, metal washer, top hat washer, and a rubber seal. Pop the rubber seal on there, and that's ready to assemble on your Kirby. Now, before you put your fan in, make sure you clean all the silicon off here, because you're gonna to need to reseal around this and around the outer face of the Kirby. So because it's just for demonstration purposes, I won't be doing that today. Next up, we're gonna re-grease this bearing here. So I'll grab a little bit of bearing grease, Put that in there. Don't have to overpack it. So just a little bit, less is more. Grab your top hat washer, push that in there with that rubber seal, and then just grab a rag and wipe any excess grease from around there. Next, grab your plastic washer, drop that on there, pop on your new fan, metal washer, spindle, and then tighten anti-clockwise and that's plenty don't over tighten it because you don't want to crush your fan or warp your fan and again when taking this off do not prise it underneath you will damage inside here or you will warp the plate now with your front plate give it a big clean give it a massive clean while you've got it off then what you're going to do is run a bead of silicon all the way around here around here 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 all there you don't have to do there around there around there a little bit in here and there just a blob just to hold in this and slot that in and that's ready to fit to the Kirby. 
Okay, so this way is a little bit more awkward than when you've got it fully apart. So grab the front, and we're just gonna slot that in there, like so. Push that down. It will move, so you've gotta make sure everything is lined up and it's gone over this safety switch. Then what I like to do is grab the two longest bolts and just put those in the top. And our two shorter bolts in the bottom. And then we're just gonna tighten those up. Now we're going to attach our handle yoke. If you've got a G3 or G4 or G5, you've got a little pin here, and that will just slot in there and drop on there. With our handle yoke, just make sure that goes back roughly in the center. So shouldn't be undoing any of these. Shouldn't have to tighten any of these. All these should be nice and tight. There should be no movement. But we're going to put one, two screws back in. Drop on our top cover, and then replace all the screws in reverse. Now, if you've placed a silicon sealant, just make sure you wipe all that around there just with an old rag. It'll be underneath as well and down here as well. So now we're going to replace our lead. So you're going to hold that there. We're going to replace our cover. So slot that in there, lower it down. Make sure it's in the gap. And replace our Torx 15. And don't forget, if you're using the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get those curvy products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Right, so enjoy that quick tutorial on how to change the fan without stripping your Kobe fully down. I do find that way a little bit more fiddly, plus you've got to have some silicon to reseal that joint to run out of, so that's why I didn't seal it, but make sure you reseal that with some silicon sealer. But my advice is, if it's a newer Kirby and it's not really dirty, then there's no point taking that front off. It's a lot easier to remove the motor, in my opinion, to change that fan. Now, for those of you looking to service your Kirby Avalia, check out this video next. And for those of you looking to use the shampoo system, check out this video next. So thanks for watching, happy cleaning, and I'll catch you in the next one.